what will happen on 31st of October guys as it stands there's going to be a huge burn over 250 billion LUNC and over 176 million USTC will be burnt you can see roughly how much that is worth so we'll cover this big news for Luna Classic along with other news the coin market cap links drama there's two proposals up it's really important to have the right website and telegram showing on coin market cap it's a great advertisement for new investors we'll talk about juries terror meme coin terror casinos doing lots of meme coin burns and this could potentially start a meme coin season on luna classic we'll talk about uscc repeg in today's weekly luna classic update if you enjoy this content guys do hit that like button and subscribe if there's any news that i haven't covered if you've got any questions or want to shield your meme coin project or want me to shield your meme coin project do comment below guys so guys we'll get started with this video to covering the most important news which is tfl burning these LUNC and USTC assets so as you guys know guys TFL will be shutting down 31st of October they have confirmed dear Terra community the new shuttle bridge interface to redeem wrapped assets is now open reopening the bridge allows users to send LUNC and USTC bridge to Ethereum BNB Harmony Network to back to Terra Classic this bridge will remain open from now until 30 days this tweet went out on the 28th of August so you expect this to close in the next week or so uh, which is est estimated to be on or around 30th October based on our based on an anticipated September 30th effective date which is subject to change opening the bridge gives you the opportunity to redeem your assets use them as you wish please ensure you redeem your assets as soon as possible to avoid any issues after bridge closes any user assets still in the contracts will be burnt and the bridge will be permanently closed so this has been confirmed guys there's other assets that will be burnt if you haven't watched my previous videos where i talk about how much LUNC and USDC will potentially be burnt but this is confirmed guys this has been tweeted from the official uh, Terra TFL Terra money account and it says that it will be burnt so if, you, if, if at the end of the next 10 days around 30th of October these assets haven't been removed so some assets are being removed but i expect around 240 billion or maybe even 250 billion lunc will still be on these assets similar amount of ustc will still be on this asset which will mean they will be burnt guys so you can access the shuttle bridge interface here users of terra shuttle bridge on terra classic are recommended to use this opportunity to redeem their terra assets if it's not uh, redeemed uh, 31st of october when tfl shuts down these assets will be burnt i will keep you guys updated on this news on my twitter and on youtube so make sure you following me you can follow this account as well because things might change things could change this is you know when there's court and law uh, lawyers involved there, there could be legal troubles and legal issues things can change for but for now we know that all these assets that will be left will be burnt from around 10 days from now around 31st of october so this is huge news guys i'm excited to see this burn the next topic i want to talk about guys is the coin market cap links so again i don't know the full details guys i don't know exactly who changed it from what i know tech got in touch with um coin market cap and after that guys uh, he, he so they requested two uh, links that they wanted to be updated with with tfl shutting down so we know that tfl is shutting down 30th and 31st of october we need to have these dates updated if we don't have these updated guys we could potentially be stuck not being able to show the right levels the right links on coin market cap why is it important to have the right links on coin market cap previously guys if you went on to coin market cap and you clicked on the uh, the social media links they would take you to luna and that is a big disadvantage for luna classic community because that is a huge marketing um uh, that is a huge marketing thing for for luna classic and it, taking it to a wrong website i don't think is good at all so it's really important that we get uh, shared to the right website so it got changed to vegas's telegram group and vegas's website um, and there's lots of discussions that you know this should be a, a governance vote people shouldn't be able to just put their own websites up put their own narrative and i get that it should go through governance i i tweeted uh, when it happened that i want 
um, uh, the, the community to vote who should create this Discord and Telegram and website and who should be in charge of it and you know it should be open to everyone I'm aware that website that it links linked to before the Vegas group some people were blocked or couldn't access it but guys I actually personally don't care which website it is like I said I want it to be voted through governance but any any website is better than a website taking you to a lunar website so you know new investors most investors don't really care they just want to see that you know new investors on coin market cap driven to a lunar classic website and telegram group and not lunar or no group at all so guys there's two proposals up one i said uh, one is from vegas which looks like it's not passing the other one i'm not sure exactly who put the proposal up but what we'll mean is that all nodes is the custodian for the Luna Classic social media data on coin market cap. So uh, all nodes will be able to update it. So these two proposals up, like I've said on my tweet, I don't really care too much about the drama, whose website it is. I don't want to get the credit. It's a Rocco website or it's a Jewish Protocol or Lunt Goblins LL69, my partner's website. I want it to be one website where it's a Luna Classic website. People wanting to find out about Luna Classic can find out. I want it to be the best website, you know, have all the right links. It works, it looks really professional. But if we can't have that in a decentralized community, it is difficult. I just want one website where it's tech pit. Where, uh, where investors, new investors can see about Luna Classic and hopefully wants to buy Luna Classic. So hopefully that sort of covers the drama for the coin market cap. Again, I don't want to get involved in name calling. I want to be quite neutral and I do these spaces where I do weekly spaces. I talk to everyone in the Luna Classic community. So if, if I take sides and name call people, yes. If there are some you know bad things people are doing i call them out you've seen me previously if people are trying to scam but if it's like someone's preference or something like that i don't really want to get involved because i want to be able to showcase any project anyone that's building on luna classic on a positive light and be like a neutral voice and that could help potentially bring people together as well right because if i can talk to different communities and if they fall out i can talk to them and potentially have a positive impact on luna classic i've done that before and i'd like to continue to do that as well the next news is Jura Juris guys Juris hit 10 million market cap again so you guys know earlier in the in the year Juris went absolutely parabolic uh, 10x went past 10 million market cap and some people were saying oh is it a pump and dump but you know this rally that we can see it is trending up really really nicely guys and this is exactly one what we want to see guys this is not just a pump if even if this dumps maybe 20 30 percent we're not going to see a parabolic rally and then dump so this is really bullish for the project i'm really happy to see um this price rally all the work that ll6 and frag and you know i've been put, uh, putting some work in as well but mainly ll69 guys we've got to thank him for all the dedicated for and not just him guys the whole luna classic community that is supporting juris rexy we got the godfather of uh, of juris ed trev so there's lots of people supporting it it's great to see guys so i just wanted to shield the prize i didn't want to talk too much about fundamentals lots is happening guys ll69 is cooking in the background he will be dropping some alpha on our weekly sunday spaces uh, if you want to tune in and take part in it you can i also updated it on on youtube in a podcast format you can listen to this 10 15 minute videos every week to find out an overview of what's happening in the luna classic community if you want all the details then you can watch or listen to these spaces on your way to your work or when you're in the gym or going on a run to find out all the details i have guests come from all different parts different aspects of the community to come and talk about juris and hopefully lo69 will be dropping some more alpha especially on juris protocol the lending borrowing protocol next i want to talk about terra guys so I myself have given Terra a lot of grief and, and, and maybe rightly so about the hack guys and and there's been some good um, proof come out showing that it, you know who was actually involved um, and there's been you know um, a Jacob, so not just from the Terraport team. So he said there's been some conclusively where that North Korea hacked Terraport. And you can go read all this information, guys. UN probing 58 alleged crypto highs by North Korea worth 3 billion. So hopefully this clears the name for Terra because I was a bit harsh on them. I, you know, spoke positively about them. I've partnered up with mainly with, with Terra and Terraport to shield their platform. They're one of the big builders 
in on the Luna Classic chain, guys. So, you know, it's really good to see that they've sort of cleared out their name. Uh, we'll maybe be doing some more content with Rexy and Terraport to talk more about what's happened. They've also, you know, paying a uh, user compensation is scheduled for um, a disimbursement uh, in the first week of November. So it's good to see, you know, a close of chapter and hopefully we can push positively, guys. And I've been shilling their meme coins. You know, this is positive for Terra. So I bought some Terra. I told you guys, you know, it's looking like nice consolidation here. We could see this could be the reaccumulation and pump up and usually guys we see this type of big news that happen with like uh, this potential announcement from you know you un probing it and someone a uh, big in on um on cosmos jacob uh, confirming it this is big news guys so hopefully this along with the meme coin stuff that we're trying to push we can see um uh luna classic uh terror the price go up as well it'd be great to see all the l2 projects juris terra uh, elban there's so many other projects start getting some traction not just you know luna classic but in a bull market with bitcoin pumping we see luna classic go crazy 10x and then all these little coins terra juris cat with that could even probably thousand x but all these smaller cap coins could also 1000 x as well so it's really good to see guys like i said i wanted to give you a shout out as well because i've been harsh on them previously so it's good to see they've clarified it and they're building some cool stuff guys i'm going to be making a video on liquid staking let me know if you're interested in that guys if you are interested in liquid staking you could do that you could loop it you could gain you know it's just interesting stuff that we want to do in luna classic we don't want to just hold L luna classic and want the price to go up or we want to just stake luna classic and get the rewards and you know or the oracle pool uh, community pool goes down we don't want to do that we want to be able to do cool stuff so whether it's gamble with um uh, the meme coins go play with terra casino play poker or more importantly DeFi. so i don't want luna classic chain just to be gambling and meme coins you want to see uh, actual real world value so juris is bringing the lending borrowing protocol terra's got liquid staking and there's other projects as well uh, that are building some gaming stuff some order book cool stuff so it's great to see l is doing well and all this value will go back to luna classic that's why i've been pushing so much all these l2s and this meme coin is going parabolic guys so i shared it around 30 40 mil market k market cap it's t around 10x from there it's still breaking out guys uh, terra casino is burning cat with hat guys there's lots of big influences including myself a shilling cat with her this is really bullish again we have to make a plan so it doesn't just do a pump and dump but again if it does another 10x from here with all the burns you could potentially turn some money involved and then it will depend on the project so i know he's working on some staking stuff nft stuff any use case that can add fuel to the fire this could literally go parabolic and if you look at the liquidity so low market cap is so small this could really pump hard guys and i've been shilling it with this bullish uh break above last time we got uh, around 200 percent pump from here we saw a 100 percent pump let's see what we can see here now there's going to be more burns like i said the burn that happened last week was only the start hopefully we can see cap with hat going up again i'm not saying unstake and buy loads of cap with hat but if you've got some money to the side play with it in 100 200 if you had invested some money here you'd be you know 500 percent up and a little hundred couple of hundred dollars could be worth slightly you know turn into a nice little bag for you guys that you could do other cool stuff with so cat with hat they're still building the guy the founders hustling hard doing spaces and rexy and terra casino will be burning more so i'll be covering this on my uh, videos finally guys usc repeg so there's not been too much news but the key date to keep in mind is december 7th so i me already mentioned tier 4 closing down will give us a massive boost to all the other things that we are doing and guys if tfl exits this will be our opportunity. Lots of assets will be burnt. If we can get a UST repick narrative going on top of all the juries and all the other stuff I talked about, that could give Luna Classic the biggest pump. So I'm excited to see what happens. There are some rumors. Some people are not happy with what's happened and some are justified as well. He potentially moved uh, too quickly you know he went behind some of his team members but like i've said i try to stay away from drama and try to support when someone's trying to build something so really excited to see what happens november 7 the white paper will uh, be released I'll, I'll definitely cover it on my youtube and i'll likely be doing a quick spaces with him as well hopefully with the support of someone more knowledgeable on USTC repeg like Redline and question him and have that spaces uh, podcast do it on Twitter and have it updated on my YouTube channel as well guys before I go let's do a technical analysis on Luna Classic so Luna Classic guys 
he's just been chopping guys there's not too much to say guys it's taking a bit longer from the high time frame point of view i'm not going to talk too much on the uh, um low time frame on the high time frame point of view guys what i'd like to see is if we if Bitcoin has a big breakdown, I'll look to bid here. I shared that level. We got a small feel. If not, guys, it's just buy, support, sell, resistance. So if the price comes here, you can look to uh, look to buy some support. So let me just draw the line. So if the price comes here, you can look to buy some. If we start trending back above there, you could buy some. If we break out here and also Bitcoin breaks out, I'm just going to get a bag of Luna Classic. Like, like I bought some spot. Uh, here breakout clean breakout above here we've already had a fake out this fake out is unlikely to be another fake out this should be the real breakout i'll be looking to buy some luna classic guys so that is really bullish and one thing i mentioned about like holding so juris guys if you bought juris again if you're trading you can take some profit but juris is a huddle for long term right there's lots of stuff happening we've not even got a test net for the juris protocol i can expect juris to go a lot lot higher you can see the liquidity the market cap this is a long-term huddle yeah, Terra potentially is a long-term huddle as well. But meme coins, guys, that's more quick in and out. Yes, if he uh, ice gets the cat with that founder, delivers NFT, some other narrative to hold, we could it could be a long term as well. But these are like short time frame trades. Juris, guys, is like more of a diamond hands trade. And Luna Classic, uh, using the same analogy, if we break out back above here, guys, that's when it's going to be more of a longer term huddle type trade, buying some spot, longer term huddle time time frame trade if not it's just the short time frame trades that i take i took a trade if i go on to the hourly time frames on this chart so this is where i do my analysis and short time frame trades if i share with you this we had a little trade here right we had these spikes i said let's take a little trade let's take a little trade on a pullback so these are short time frame trades but if we get that big breakout that's when we can take a bigger trade also guys if you enjoy the content i've partnered up with terra casino you can go gamble on terra casino a bit so i've been if you're betting anywhere on football so i'm from the uk i follow the premier league a lot uh, i usually take bet 20 30 dollars 100 pounds a month so i usually take a bet so today i've taken a bet on core palm to score i've stopped betting on spurs because spurs have been that's my team not been doing well so if you want to take some trades or play poker or play the casino go check it out guys i've left the link below as well if you want to check out that's the video for this week guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already listened to the uh, uscc repeg tax to get spaces you can go listen to them and i'll see you guys soon with another good video thank you for all your support